Hello everyone, now welcome back. So in this video, we'll be creating a brand new account for AWS and also we'll be uh, securing our account using multi-factor authentication, in short MFA. And we'll be also discussing about different multi-factor authentication mechanisms like authenticated app, security key, hardware token. So we'll be discussing about these three uh, mechanisms. So let's go ahead and start. So initially let's go ahead and uh, create our account from the beginning. So I'm going to login page here. So if you are a root user, you can uh, use your email ID or uh, if you have, if you are an IAM user, then you can use your ID and go and log in. But in this case, uh, we are new to this account. So we'll be creating a new account. So create a new AWS account and uh, email ID. So here I'll be using my uh, email ID. So let me take that ID here first. And uh, let's say uh, sample account. So initially I need to verify my email. So I'll be getting a verification code. So let me click that uh, verification code. So let me show you that. Look, this is how uh, it looks. So I'm just uh, adding my verification code and uh, man, yeah, let me paste that here. Verify. So let me add the password. So in this case, uh, so it's done. Let me add the other one and continue. So here we have to give our details since uh, for me personally, I'm using it, it for my uh, own project. So I'll be using my personal and uh, I'll be using my name and my number and uh, you can select your uh, country. In this case, I'll just select uh, Canada and uh, my address. So just uh, some sample address. So I'm just select so here, uh, give your credit card details. And once you fill your credit card details, the next step is uh, you'll be asked for the supporting plans. So in this case, I'll be selecting the basic plan, which is free. Uh, but in this case, if you want, let's say developer support, then it's $29 per month. Or if you want business support, then it's $100 per month. So that is how you can create your account. So once your account is created, uh, you can go to your uh, AWS console. So in this case, I'll be redirected to my AWS console. Let me show you how it is. So, so this is my uh, AWS console. So once you created it, uh, so this is how it looks. So let's go to the IAM here, since we are going to use multi-factor authentication. So here you can see uh, the security recommendations. So right now we have one recommendation in which we have to add a multi-factor authentication for the root user. So the root user is nothing but it's me, myself. So since I'm the root user, uh, so just add the MFA. So here, uh, let's sign uh, MFA. So here you can see we have uh, authenticated app security key hardware token. So coming to authenticated app, so it's a mobile application that provides an additional layer of security for uh, your online accounts. So it generates a unique time-based codes that uh, you use during the login process to verify your identity. So the app uh, typically uses a standard uh, called uh, time-based one-time password, which is TOTP to create these codes. A popular example of this authenticator app is Google Authenticator, which generates uh, codes for accounts like Google, Facebook, and Dropbox, and many, uh, many more applications. So the second one is security key. So a security key is a physical uh, device that you can use as an alternative to the authenticator app for uh, two-factor authentication or 2FA. So it's typically uh, connects to your uh, computer or mobile device using USB port or uh, wirelessly via uh, Bluetooth or NFC. NFC is nothing but uh, near field communication. So when you log in uh, to your account, you can insert or tap the security key to generate a unique code that verifies your identity. So an example of the security key is YubiKey, which is uh, widely uh, used to secure uh, authentication across various online services. So the next one is a uh, hardware token. 
So a hardware uh, hardware to OTP token is also known as hardware authenticator or OTP token. So it's a small uh, physical device that generates a time-based uh, one-time password or TOTP. So it is designed uh, specifically for authentication purposes and is uh, usually key uh, keychain sized or uh, in the form of an uh, card when you need to log in uh, into your account. So you can press uh, press on the token to generate a unique code that expires after a short period. So an example of a hardware token uh, is a RSA Secure ID token, so which is commonly used by the organizations to provide secure access uh, to their systems. So that is what uh, the definitions of these three are. So you can select appropriate uh, uh, device that you want, but in this case, I'll just select the Authenticator app. So let's go to the next. Let's give the device name, in this case, uh, let's say MRT device and let's go to the next. So here uh, we have to install uh, Google Authenticator or uh, Duo Mobile Authenticator app and so on in your uh, mobile. So I already have it. So let me open that. And uh, so in this case, uh, you can also select the list of uh, multi-factor authentications available. So here you can see these are the different uh, supporting devices that we can use. So in this case, I'll be using the Microsoft Authenticator because it's easy to delete like whenever uh, I want. So yeah, since I'm deleting this one, so I'll just use uh, Microsoft Authenticator. So let me show the key here. So the QR code, so let me scan that. Just a second, I'm using my uh, phone, so giving access uh, to my camera and uh, let me do that, yeah. So it's done uh, and I have to use my uh, two codes. So let me type the first code, which is, uh, so this is the first code that I got and let's wait for the second one and uh, let's add it. So still uh, five seconds more. So this is the second code that I got. And let's add it. So you see, uh, we have successfully registered our uh, uh, multi-factor authentication in our uh, Authenticator app. So this is how you can create your AWS account and uh, use multi-factor authentication for that uh, to be more secure. So coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you're not to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.